Hi, it's been a while. Um, I have not released a video in a few weeks, but I'm back <laughs> and we have quite a few things to be putting away. So um, honestly, these are the fa my favorite type of videos to make. They're so chill, require little to no planning, and that's exactly my style. <laughs> so um, my channel is probably going to just be a lot of storing and organizing my collection so if that's not your style then you might need to find another channel to watch uh, but if you do enjoy those like i do feel free to play this in the background of you know your day-to-day -day tasks and yeah let's just go ahead and jump into this so the first binder i have out here is actually a newish one um i did get it from the b merch release um and I have yet to use it, so I recently did something pretty exciting. I actually completed the full um, Soju Muster set for all, oops, these don't belong there, <laughs> for all um, seven members. So what I ended up doing for this merch drop was I purchased the special set and to my surprise, I pulled pretty much every every card. Um, I did have quite a few duplicates, but um, I think in the end, I only was missing six cards that I didn't pull from my own packs. So that was really exciting and um, a first for me for sure. <laughs> I usually don't have that kind of look with these um, tool card or sorry, um, mini PC packs so yeah that was pretty exciting so i didn't have to do a lot of trading and honestly like i did all my trading in one day um so yeah they've just kind of been sitting there uh, waiting to be stored so i think that's going to be the majority of this video i have a few other um photo cards from other groups so we'll see those as well but i was super excited to put these away so yeah that's what i'm gonna go ahead and start with so like i said i do have all member photo cards plus all the units as well so um if you haven't seen the photo cards then this is your lucky day you can actually see every single photo card that um you could have pulled so yeah let's go ahead and get started all right so for this binder as you can see if you haven't seen this binder um, it does come with a group photo here, which I love, 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 love that. It comes with their names right here. And then you have these really mm, odd pages. And I'm going to be honest, I don't know if these are PVC free, which by the way, if you are new to collecting, you want to stay away from um, sleeves that have PVC in them. So most uh, popular sleeves will not have PVC. PVC in them and that's usually what people use. Um, for example, I double sleeve all of my photo cards that go into a binder. Um, so I do use Ultra Pro nine pocket sleeves or two pocket sleeves and before I put the photo card in there I put them in a clear sleeve to kind of protect it. And so at the bottom here you'll see that it does say 100 tough uh, polypropylene acid and PVC free sleeves. So you want to make sure that they have that. So this brand for sure does have them for regular size cards. Um, so all that to say, <laughs> these are obviously not regular size photo cards. They are actually bigger than your average photo card. So I will not be double sleeving these. I'm just going to put them in here um, for now. And I'm going to be doing some research on um, sleeves that I can use to double sleeve these bigger sized photo cards so just an FYI um but so yeah I don't plan on keeping them in this binder forever like that uh, I would hate for them to get damaged or anything so that's how it's gonna go so um I calculated the amount of sleeves that are in here and there are 20 pages with four pockets front and back so I think I should be able to hold a total of about 120, hold on, let me do the math, 160, hopefully I did the math right, 
Uh, hopefully I did the math right. I'm an English teacher. I don't do math, <laughs> but I just tried to do some mental math right there for a second. Um, so if I'm wrong, I will put somewhere here um, the correct amount, but I think I should be able to fit about 160 photo cards in these this whole binder right here so um i believe there are a total of about 60 to 80 <laughs> in this full solo juice set so we'll see we'll just take it you know we'll cross that bridge when we get to it if we run out of space but um yeah so on the first page i do want to start with the special set um of photo cards so those are these right here Okay, so I just laid them out like this really quickly for the thumbnail. Always gotta think about that thumbnail, but um, yeah. So I'm gonna take these back over here. I'll get to them in a second. But I do wanna start with the special PC set right here. So if you ordered the pack of 11 um tour pc packs you got one special pack added in there so you had to have ordered the set in order to get these um so yeah this is the photo card and that's the back i love the hollow effect i absolutely love cards that have that so it's a little sad that these are not see-through sleeves um because i would have loved to see the um holographic part in the back but we'll just have to make do for now eventually i will move these somewhere else but i just don't um have the time or patience to do it right now <laughs> but yeah so we're gonna go ahead and start again i put them in fan chan order i guess you could call it that um so yeah Okay, so first impressions, um, just so you all are aware if you do have this binder, um, the top, the top pockets up here actually do not cover the whole, um, photo card. There's about, I'd say maybe like a centimeter, maybe less than a centimeter, um, not in the sleeve. So, um, that's that, but the bottom ones, weirdly enough do cover a majority of the photo card. So the ones on top do not cover, um, they cover less, I guess you could say. But uh, yeah, I find that a little odd, but let's just keep going. So same thing over here, um, the top sleeves do not cover um, a lot of the top part, but the bottoms do, so very odd. <laughs> but that is the special PC set right there. Um, as far as the sleeves go, I mean they're pretty durable in protecting like this from scratches and stuff, but um, it's not very easy to put the photo cards in, so that's a little bit of a bummer, but that's okay. So my next challenge is going to be to figure out how to set up the rest of the regular photo cards. So um, in each, I guess, member set, if you call it that, <laughs> it comes with eight photo cards uh, for the individual member sets. So for example, this one is the one of eight. So all of the one of eights are gonna look like this with kind of like this Polaroid border and a hollow, um, effect on the background on the border so all the one of eights look like that so for example that's Jin's this is Yoongi this is Hobie's so all the one of eights have the same style and the same goes for the rest of the photo cards so most of the three of eights are um with the purple background possibly also horizontal I'm not sure if that's the theme for this one let's see three of eight yeah so all the mm, let me double check before I verify that. Yeah, all the three of eights, for example, are horizontal photo cards. So um, they all have share a common theme. So that's where my dilemma begins <laughs> and my uh, need for um, perfection and synchronicity and just overall cohesiveness of my collections. 
So yeah, uh, my dilemma is now, do I organize them by member or do I organize them by type of photo card? So for example, what I mean by that is, um, do I organize them by uh, like all of RMs on this page? Because there will be enough. It would be a perfect amount because there's four and then four on the back. So I would only use one page per member. Um, same thing with the other ones, honestly, like if I were to do it the other way where I would do all the one of eights for each member on the same page, I would only be using one page. So regardless, it turns out the same as far as space. Um, but yeah, I don't know what to do. I'm, I'm horrible at making decisions and these are honestly the kinds of things that keep me up at night, uh, as lame as that sounds, but yeah. So I think just for the sake of, um, you know, conserving my time <laughs> and my energy. I'm just gonna do it by um, member. So I'm gonna put all of RMs uh, on this one page and then we'll, we'll go by member like that. If I decide to change it later on, I can do that. I don't know why I stress like this. Um, I just hate, I hate making decisions, you know? <sighs> That's something that I need to probably get help for, but honestly, you know, I'll get through it. Anyways, um, so yeah, let's go ahead and start putting away RMs. Also, does anyone else um, rotate between calling them by their stage names and then also calling them by their birth names? <laughs> like, most of the time I call him Namjoon, but there's just times where it comes out and, and I say... RM and sometimes I just call him June or Juni. I don't know. Does anyone else have that problem? Am I the only one? Honestly, I know how Jungkook feels when he calls RM Rap Monster. <laughs> oh man, good times. And I find it so odd that they manufactured the sleeves like this, like why does this one not cover as well as this one? That's so weird, like they're the same size. I don't know, but um, it doesn't surprise me, honestly. All right, so the next member is Jin. Honestly, this muster really like messed me up. <laughs> I, the outfits, the song choice, the set list, like, it was all an absolute banger of a concert, and it just made me, I don't know, I had, like, a weird roller coaster of emotions watching it, because part of me is like, oh my god, like, you know, they're performing all these songs, and they're getting to do what they love, and then the other part of me is like, I could have seen this live, you know, but eventually we'll get new concert dates and everything will be back to normal. But until then, I'm just going to drown my sorrow in merch <laughs> for concerts that I can't attend in person, you know. But anyways, um, I'm sure I'm not the only one. All right, so here are Yoongi's. These are already in order, so I... Um, didn't waste time doing that for sure but it's gonna go one two three four and then five six seven eight but yeah um i guess on the soju sounds like i say soju soju um set list my favorite was dejuta and honestly wishing on a star got me in my feels definitely got me in my feels even though it's not my favorite um i guess b-side would it be considered a b-side i don't know um japanese songs are usually not my favorites but um or rather bts's japanese releases are not always my favorites but film out and wishing on a star were so good i don't know but i really really enjoyed the muster um, I watched both days, so I got to see that. Oh, here are, we're moving on to J-Hopes. Um, their outfits, though, I'm sorry, Jungkook, oh, I couldn't, I couldn't. But also, Mr. Hobie, like, 
he uh, i swear to god like he's catfishing us because he has this like cute cutesy look which is super cute right like you can't deny i mean look at that but then when they have him dressed up with like his blonde hair and oh my god <sighs> he's been holding out on this guys actually no he hasn't he's always been that bitch you know but like it's just his era right now so yeah i was super excited when he performed um chicken noodle soup on day two and namjoon's rapping in spanish and jimin's oh my god i just about died namjoon's pronunciations in spanish were so good so so good as like a native spanish speaker like i give him props because that's hard i can't imagine sounding like that in korean like that's insane so props to um namjoon from a latina <laughs> he definitely has my seal of approval and he had becky g so that's all he needs really Okay. Oh, I didn't even introduce that one was Jimin's, so obviously. At the end, I'll do a little flip through so y'all can see what the full set looks like. So yeah, I thought it was it was interesting that they decided to release these photo cards like that. Um, I've never seen them do that before. And yeah, it was pretty expensive, I'm not gonna lie. These are these pretty expensive it was like 80 bucks not including shipping so it was it was a pretty penny for sure i ordered these through which one did i i don't know if i ordered these through global or usa but yeah i paid a good 90 dollars just for these uh photo cards so yeah i was glad that i pulled the majority of the set for my original packs because if i had paid 90 dollars to only have to trade and trade and trade and waste money on stamps and like mailing supplies i would have been pissed but um it didn't happen that way thankfully so okay and then finally we are on jk's and then after jk we'll do units set for my original packs because if i had paid 90 dollars to only have to trade and trade and trade and waste money on stamps and like mailing supplies i would have been pissed but um it didn't happen that way thankfully so okay and then finally we are on jk's and then after jk we'll do units okay also please excuse my floor i know it's ridiculous but I, um, my desk is a mess right now because I'm currently helping my friend sell a big chunk of her collection, which by the way, it will be, um, up on my page hopefully soon, um, after I post this video. So y'all can go ahead and check that out. But she's selling a bunch of 17, um, got seven a few monster x things but we'll be adding to it because she couldn't let go of some of her collection she's doing it in phases which i agree i would not just give up the whole collection all at once because she's been collecting for um pretty much as long as i have i think i may have gotten her into collecting photo cards and merch around the same time that i did so yeah but um I'm helping her sell them, so if you are interested in any of those groups and you want to check out what I have, um, make sure you keep an eye out on my Instagram. Again, I'm not sure when I'll post them because we're still trying to figure out pricing and such, but um, yeah, feel free to check me out. My Instagram, I'll link it in the description and right here as well. Okay, and then now we're going to move on to the units. I pulled all of the units in every single one of my packs, so that was actually pretty amazing. I didn't have to trade a single unit. 
I think I really lucked out. I don't know if other people have the same luck. Um, it might be just big hit doing a better, or the manufacturer doing a better job at randomizing the photo cards, which is always a good thing because I've seen, <laughs> I've heard horror stories of people opening packs and they're literally all the same pools. I can't imagine. All right, so that's actually all of the PCs. So let's do a quick flip through of the entire set. So here we have the special set photo cards. And then we have Nam Junj. And then we have Jins. And we have Yungi's. He's a horang he. <laughs> Who else did it? Someone else did the horang he pose. There's Hobi. There's Jimin. There's V. And then there's Jungkook. Oh yes, Jungkook did his little horang hippos. <laughs> my 17, um, my carrot army heart is just bursting right now. Anyways, um, these are the units. And those are the units as well. <laughs> this one's so cute. It's like, it's like a family portrait. I love it. All right, so in um, collaboration with the theme of the Soju merch, um, I also have these photo cards right here um, from the bag. So I did purchase the uh, mini bag. Super, super cute. I use it all the time now. Um, it's so small, but like it fits a lot of things and it's just like a creamish color on the outside so it goes with everything um and it's very versatile you can carry it as like a handheld or you can use the strap and use it as like a crossbody but regardless i mean i would have used it anyways it cost me 30 dollars, <laughs> so i better put it to use um but it did come with these two photo cards uh so i'm gonna put these in there as well and um another thing that i will be putting in maybe in another video who knows um is i am still waiting on a few more trading card packs so i'm actually going to be selling those off if you're interested in any of them i did purchase three more packs um with another order that i placed um so i definitely don't need those as you can see so i will be selling those i might sell them as complete packs or i might you know just sell them individually but um yeah again that will be on my instagram but um I am also waiting on the glass set. So the glass set comes with either one or two photo cards. So I will be putting those in here as well. But yeah, that's pretty much the entire um, Soju photo cards merch that I have on hand so far. So I'm super excited that I'm able to already use this binder. Again, I might not keep them there, but um, who knows, I might end up just keeping them in here. <laughs> but I will definitely update you guys on whether or not it damaged the photo cards or not. All right, so that is it for that one. I do have quite a few more photo cards to put away, so we'll bring out the next binder. All right, so my next binder here is my old binder, which as you know is but my biggest binder by far. It's a four inch, I believe. Um, so yeah, and it's getting pretty quickly filled up. So I'm probably gonna have to switch to another binder or split up some of these collections. Um, but yeah, so uh, let's go ahead and get into this one. So before I even move on, I just want to very quickly tell everyone to please, please, please support Kyung Soo's um, new album. It's his first solo album and I have, when I say I've been waiting for this for nine years that means I've been waiting for this for nine years like uh, I cannot believe it's finally happening and I'm so so happy for him um so yeah I mean just if you can buy the album buy a few um I'm definitely gonna be buying a few uh, but yeah, just definitely support him. He deserves all of the support and admiration in the world because he's unbelievably talented. 
so so sweet so i don't know i just i love this man so much so definitely i wanted to take some time really quickly to um ask you all to just please support this cute little bean <laughs> but yeah so i don't unfortunately i don't have any um do to put away currently uh i would like to set up for his newest album um there's gonna be two versions as far as i'm concerned i think that's what the album detail said so there's two versions who knows how many photo cards per version um so sm does like to release quite a few photo cards per version so hopefully it's not too many but even if it is i will buy them all i swear um but as far as their recent release the exo the uh, don't find the feeling um i am missing the version one um the jewel case and the i'm actually this one is on the way so i will be having that one as well but if anyone has those i do have a few to trade on my instagram so please hit me up if you have any of those but yeah so that is it for do um i don't believe that i have any shiny let me double check okay no i don't have any taming or shiny so we're gonna move past that okay so this one is i do have one photo card and honestly it's gonna mess up my entire setup so i don't know how i'm gonna do this so i might be splitting splitting speeding up these clips but i finally have the superhuman kino <laughs> I'm gonna take it out of this sleeve because this one's too flimsy. I'm gonna switch it over to my types of sleeves, but oh my god, do y'all see that beauty? <gasps> Literally never thought I was going to own this photo card, and obviously I didn't think I was gonna own it because I didn't even leave a space for it. So that is the dilemma that I'm facing now. I need to move over a majority of this these photo cards uh, to make space because I'd like to put them in error order because I'm you know weird like that but yeah so here he is in his little sleeve and there it is so I also pulled um Jungwoo and Taeyong in my other kinos um so right now I currently have three kinos just sitting at home <laughs> um and so yeah i didn't pull tails so i had to trade my hechan that i pulled from the third kino um for him but he's finally home um i'm definitely gonna be keeping these taeyongs um i don't need three kinos so unfortunately i'm gonna have to try to sell jungwoo's with it because i don't own anything jungwoo um so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and this one's on my instagram so if you're interested in purchasing this one along with the Kino um, it's on my Instagram now so yeah um, that's pretty much what I'm gonna be doing right now so um, if I remember correctly the superhuman Kino will go here so all of these all of these and that one are gonna have to be moved over one slot so yeah let's just go ahead and get into that so i'm gonna take out all of these all right so these are all of them in order so we're going to go ahead and put this one here. And it's so funny because I literally started standing and actually buying their photo cards around Superhuman Era. <laughs> so yeah, it's just fitting that that would be the last photo card I needed to complete my tail um, album photo card collection. So. Yeah, as of right now, his Korean photo cards are complete in my collection, so that's pretty exciting. 
it honestly didn't take very long um, because unfortunately he is not the most uh, popular member which is absolutely dumbfounding to me uh, I think he's probably one of the most talented if not um, the most talented <laughs> no I think he's one of the most talented people like in the k-pop industry so honestly if you're not standing moon tail then you are not living <laughs> you're not living life okay so let me just finish taking these out Also, while I'm on the subject, tail solo album when? <laughs> I feel like I ask myself that on the daily. Um, and honestly, this really, I started thinking about it recently because um, I believe yesterday or the day before they released a video, and I think it was yesterday. Um, they released a video of them celebrating their fifth anniversary um, on the same day that it was Tail's birthday. So they were all there and they were, you know, kind of like giving toasts and stuff. And Johnny made a comment where he said that um, he wishes Tail would kind of like give them a heads up that he was um, working on like solo projects and stuff. Uh, because if you don't know, he was just invited to um, sing a track for the 50th anniversary of some really famous um, Korean singer. So um, that's, I mean, that's, that's a pretty big deal. Like, you know... If you're paying a tribute to a very famous artist in that country, then you obviously want to pick the most qualified people to do it because otherwise it would just kind of be a joke. Um, but the fact that they pick Tail out of like all these people in the industry, that says a lot. But that only goes to prove that they, you know, the people that really matter are the ones that recognize his talent. So I was super, super happy about that but um going back to the conversation in that video johnny was saying that he wishes they would give him a heads up or they would give he would give them nct a heads up that he was going to be doing a solo project like that and like that's so sad like why doesn't he flaunt the fact that he was selected for it like that just ugh, it broke my heart when i saw that and he kind of just stayed quiet so you know you, you know he thinks about it but he just doesn't feel comfortable enough to do it and i think that's really um, kind of like proof or it goes to show that um, he's not being I guess given the affirmations or the um, reassurance that like he really is amazing like he is such a talented artist and I wish he would um, brag about himself a little bit more uh, but yeah so anyways that was just <laughs> A little mini rant on my um nct bias but anyways you can think what you think but you won't change my mind um so yeah that completes my tail korean photo card collection so now i'm gonna i'm moving on to focusing on the japanese stuff because i'm missing a few cards here and there um i don't know necessarily if i will be collecting anything that's not album photo cards uh, I had started a little bit here and there, but, um, yeah, I think I'm good with just collecting his album stuff, so. Yeah, we have everything from Fire Truck era. And then we finally have the Kino. Then we move into Neo Zone. And then NCT 2020. You know what? Something is out of order here. I just noticed. Sorry, guys. Hold on. Okay, sorry y'all. It was out of order. <laughs> um, so I had to just fix it a little bit, but there it is. So now it should be in order. So we have all of the Neo Zones, um, including the final player, or final round, sorry. And then we have the NCT 2020s up to there. And then um, we have some random, this is like a fan signed photo card, Japanese. Japanese, Japanese, um, and I have a few, I have two more of the Japanese Love Holic photo cards coming in, uh, in a New York order, hopefully soon, and then these are just non-album photo card stuff, 
these are the circle cards that I actually despise. <laughs> and yeah, that's pretty much it. So that completes my tail collection. Ooh. Okay, so now we move on to the BTS section. I don't have any um, actual album photo cards to put away. So we're just gonna skip over to the Be Essential. And let me tell y'all, I was so excited to get this in the mail, but would you believe me if I told you these were fake? <laughs> I bet you wouldn't. At first glance, these are so legit down to the feel of them. They look so legit and honestly, this is like a double-edged sword because like it's awesome that they're so you know real looking even though they're replicas but it's concerning because that means there are probably tons and tons and tons of fakes out there being sold and passed off as real so please 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 be careful um i will tell you the difference uh between the fakes and the real versions are in the colors I would say so for example I'm gonna take this one out this one is real I know because I purchased it and I got it directly from Weavers um, but you'll notice off the bat that let me bring the light closer you'll notice that the real one is more of a cool toned gray and this one is the fake one on the left it has more of a brownish tint to it this one's very cool gray and then this one's more of like a brown almost kind of like it almost has like an olive tint to it if that makes sense um but this would definitely be hard to tell just on pictures if people send you proofs and stuff of the photo card so just be very um wary of that but yeah this one is definitely the one on the right is real the one on the left is fake everything down to the font is almost identical so yeah. Um, the symbol on the left looks a little skinnier for the BTS symbol, so maybe that could help you a little bit in verifying authenticity, but honestly, it would be hard to tell the difference. Um, so I did purchase the fake ones on um, Wish. So let me just do a little close-up here. Um, the picture for the one on Wish is definitely a lot more pixelated. I don't know if you can tell. Um, the one on the left is a lot more clear, not as many um, saturation and clarity issues, to be honest. So I guess that could be a sign. But again, if someone sends you a picture from far away, like you're not gonna be able to tell the difference. But uh, yeah, so just be very cautious and wary of that. Be aware that these are what replicas look like now. So <laughs> at least for these photo cards, so yeah so there's that um so i did purchase yoongi and jungkook because they have proven to be the hardest members to find for a reasonable price so um i just bit the bullet and said fine i'll just purchase the replicas um and i don't know if i just said it right now but i did buy them on wish i believe each one was about I want to say they were about $4. Um, I don't remember the price, to be honest. They might have been even $7, um, but then I had to pay for shipping. So overall, way cheaper than what I would pay for the original thing. So for my collection, it's what worked best for me, but you decide if you would like to take the risk and stuff like that. But um, it took it about two to three weeks to get here. So just keep that in mind. Uh, but yeah, so here are the photo cards. I was just so tired of seeing their um, slots um, empty. So I just said, why not? All right, so here is Yoongi's. And again, you can kind of see the difference here. This one's a little bit darker gray with like a greenish brownish tint, and these are a lot lighter. So you'll definitely be able to tell, but you know, to the naked eye, it's just, just another photo card. And then here is Jungkook's. 
all right yay so i completed <laughs> my be essential um photo card collection so i do have each album photo card and then i have their respective weavers pre-order benefit um i didn't even bother with the other uh lucky draws and stuff so don't ask <laughs> but yeah that's that completes my be essential collection so i accomplished what I set out to do. I set out to complete my OT7 collection and I did it. So I actually joined a group order for the Hybe merch photo cards and I got Jungkook's. So I love the background. They are so cool. I love the blue color. It's so pretty. So for these, I don't think they're going to fit in a regular nine pocket. So let me see if I have any slots in the other sleeves for this. All right, so I don't necessarily have any space <laughs> in other pockets. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them behind this, just position them there. Yeah, they look ugly, but they're gonna have to stay in there for right now. Let me see if I can, no, I'm not gonna bother. <laughs> but yeah, that's where I'm gonna put them for now until I can get more adequate storage. Okay, moving on to the next sections. I don't have anything for Chan and if I'm going to be honest, I'm seriously contemplating selling my small Chan collection. Um, I just haven't been looking for any of his cards. Like these are the Time of Sorrow cards are so hard to find. Um, and also these are pretty expensive even though they're like they just did this come back but i don't know i'm still contemplating i don't want to make any <laughs> rash decisions but yeah so i might be selling my chan collection not because i'm unstanding but um i just don't have the time <laughs> to look for them but um a collection that is thriving <laughs> is my twice collection so i actually have all of the Taste of Love photo cards for both Nyon and Momo, so that's exciting. Uh, I might have to create a new page, so we'll go ahead and do that. I didn't even have to set up for it, which is pretty cool. I got all my trades, so yeah, I'm gonna have to add another page, so let me get that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put away these Taste of Love photo cards. Um, honestly, it was fairly easy to find trades. I literally found trades within like a week for all of the photo cards. And I still have a lot left over of the other members. So I'm debating on whether to keep them or just trade them away or sell them. Um, but yeah. Uh, this is such an awesome concept. Taste of Love, the album in general was so good. Um, Alcohol Free has been stuck in my head for the past few weeks. <laughs> so that's how you know it's a banger. Um, but yeah, it's super exciting and I love the concept. They all look so beautiful. Like I love their summer themes. Like <sighs> summer concepts are just amazing in Twice Land. So <laughs> yeah. Um, but one thing I did want to note is that um, I love that Target included the pre-order benefit packs in their albums. That is so awesome. Makes them more widely available. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. All right, so I'm going to add one more page for Momo. I'm probably gonna fill these with placeholders later, but I'm just gonna start Taste of Love on a new page. Honestly, this may have been my chattiest video, so <laughs> I apologize. Um, I don't know, these past few weeks, I haven't really been feeling as chatty or up to filming or anything like that, but um, I don't know, I don't know if it's, I don't know, just summer or um, I'm genuinely just feeling better, but I don't know, I've just felt a lot more energy to do 
the things that I want to do, so I figured I would just film and see what happens. So, yeah, I actually did end up filming a few things over the last few weeks, but to be honest, I hated it because I sounded so just like emotionless and like, I don't know, it just didn't seem like it would be a fun video to watch. Um, not saying I'm the most fun YouTuber out there, but <laughs> you know. Uh, I just felt like I could deliver better content for you all, but, um, yeah, I ended up deleting all those videos and that footage, so, because I hated it, like, I just absolutely hated it, so I just decided, you know, I'm just gonna film on the day that I feel good, and today was the day, so, yeah, that's pretty much it for the twice photo cards that I have, um, for Nyan and Momo. Alright, so let's go ahead and bring out the non-ult binder. Alright, so this is my non-old binder. Um, this is a new uh, thing that I received. I ordered two of the Can Can magazines, so I got Sun Kwan for one and then I got Jung Han for the other. Uh, so I put him in the front because he is gorgeous. He's an absolute angel. Um, but yeah, so this is, if you're not aware or you've never seen my videos, this is my non-old binder. So pretty much miscellaneous groups and numbers, people I don't actually actively collect, but I don't want to give away. So I do have um, quite a few different groups in here. So in my 17 collection, I do have a few photo cards that I want to just kind of put away. Um, obviously this one is not gonna go in there. I just had it in there, I haven't put it away. <laughs> but the rest of them will, and I'm actually gonna keep this one to put it in my sun corn binder, because I have an extra. Um, and I do have duplicates. I'll probably just put them together. But yeah, that is the 17 section stuff. So let me see if I have anywhere to store these. Okay, so if you noticed a lighting change a little bit, it's because my phone decided to stop recording. So I literally put away all that 17 stuff that I showed earlier in the clip and I lost that footage. So we're just gonna keep going. Um, no harm, no foul. But I do have two TXT cards to put away. Um, so yeah, I have Yeonjun here and Bongyu here. So TXT is such an odd group for me. Like, I want to collect them, but then I stop myself. And then, I don't know, it might be the pricing, the way the market is set up right now for their group. But I just... I don't know, I haven't gotten around to actually buying them, but I did see someone selling these two and I think they are gorgeous, so I bought them. Um, but yeah, this is a collection you're gonna see popping up every once in a while. It's not gonna be all the time, um, but yeah. So there's that, and then we don't have anything for Victon. Okay, twice, yes. So I do have all of my OT9 um, pre-order benefit sets in this section. As you can see, man, I didn't realize I had so many. Okay. All right, so this is the OT9 card. So I'm gonna set up another page, actually another three pages. So I don't know the order that they go in. So I'm just gonna start with the red one. I love that they're in age order already. That just makes this so much easier. And yes, for these, I think I've mentioned it in a previous video, but I do not sleeve these just because, I mean, I, I do care about my collection, but like clear sleeves are expensive. And if I were to sleeve every one of these, I would need a lot of PCs. I mean, a lot of clear sleeves. So um, I just put these in without them and it, i mean the other photo cards seem fine so and then i usually put my ot9 cards over here okay so that's pack one and then we'll do this one so here is two Alright, and then the 
move on to pack three. Again, this concept was amazing. I absolutely adored it. It kind of gives me more and more and um, Dance the Night Away vibes or Summer Nights vibes. Um, so, so cute. So cute. Okay, so those are the three Taste of Love Benefit pre-order sets. Plus the three OT9 cards right there. Okay, and then for the postcards and stuff that I came with, I think I may just put them behind these cards. Yeah, it looks ugly, but I literally do not have the patience to, to do anything else. Okay, so we're going to put those there. And then the circle cards. Uh, I think I'm just going to put them in front of the Chewy Summer Nights postcard. Just because I already did that with this one, so why not? There. Okay, so I have everything put away now. <laughs> Very messily, but I mean, what am I going to do? Um, yeah. Oh, and I also completed my one day collection, in case y'all didn't know, for Like Water was the last card I needed and it was so cute. It's my favorite. Okay, and I also completed my Purple Kiss collection for their first album, Can't Wait for a Comeback. Apparently Chayanne said something about a comeback recently, so very excited about that. Don't have anything for the boys. Um, I did get my fan club kit in, or my The Bee kit. These photo cards are so cute, and I love that they're holographic. So, so cute. Then I have these. Okay. Which, by the way, I did get two Jacobs for the idea picture. I thought that was so funny. Um, but yeah, I don't have any Wanhos. I don't have any Ace. My dog just barked, sorry. Um, I don't have any BAE173. Oh, my dog keeps barking, sorry. All right, so I think that's pretty much it for my non-ult miscellaneous member group binder. That pretty much concludes today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely will try to get back into uh, posting more videos. Again, I'm kind I would love to hear some ideas from y'all. So if you're watching this video and you made, the, made it this far, please, please, please drop a like. Um, drop a comment as well, letting me know what you'd like to see. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it in my last video, but I am making some life changes. So I will be moving from my current living situation um, in the next few months. And because I own so much stuff, I'm probably going to be selling a lot of things, so you might not see the rest of my collection this complete ever again. <laughs> so um, if you'd like me to do like a collection tour, let me know. I would definitely be down to do that. Um, but yeah, uh, in the meantime, stay safe, mask up, um, wash your hands, <laughs> be healthy, and have a wonderful week, and happy collecting!